Trucks are the backbone of any industry, that's what my verdict is. And we are in the Tata stall in Auto Expo, the largest commercial vehicle manufacturer for India. And here is the latest offering, the Prima Tipper with AMT. But I'm not just mentioning about the trigger, we have the right person to talk about. So let's introduce him and have the show with him. All my fellow Ellis, welcome to Flight. Hi Rajesh, welcome to Hi. the show. Hey. And congrats for amazing truck launches. Thank you, Mustafa. And Thank you. And nice having you here yes. in the you commercial so vehicle, <laughs> the stall of Tata Motors. Yes. So Thank you. I love to see so much of advancement happen on heavy vehicles because I'm a truck lover basically. Yeah. And for us, let's start with this, with the AMT gearbox tipper. Okay. How do you find this can revolutionize the tipper market? So let me tell you, you know, I'll, I'll give you a quick background and then I'll take you to sure, this, sure. this yeah. way. You know, infrastructure in this country has been gaining prominence. Yes. Okay. You see how our road infrastructure has panned out over over a decade. Yes. And now, so many roads, whether it's Samrudhi there in in Maharashtra, Mumbai Nagpur, or now or Delhi, Mumbai, this expressway which has been, and so many other infrastructure. Yes. That is one. Second is, um, you see in the mining, uh, uh, you know, side, how. Mining mines are getting deeper and deeper, yeah. and 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 you know post post this entire revolutionizing mm. this mining segment, mm. we see India now playing a very pivotal role yeah. across mining, be yeah. it coal, yeah. be it iron ore, mm. you know, be it here in in Rajasthan you go to marble yeah. Uh, yeah. or or even deeper. Yeah. So now now let me come specific to this kind of a tipper. Yeah. So we've seen yeah. how in, in tipper space, yeah. tipper is about 35% of overall trucks. Overall trucks yeah. Okay. So which means overall trucks, anything about 200 to 250,000, mm -hmm. you have a good space of 70 odd thousand, yeah. you know, market for yeah. this. And out of that 70,000, tw 28 ton, yeah. okay, which is a 10 wheeler yeah. or a three axle. Yes had the highest share, share yeah. but now you see the shift happening more towards you four know wheels. four uh, this uh, four axle yeah. uh, tippers. eight by fours eight by fours yeah. now here what we are now talking about is an eight by four mm. 35 ton mm. but this comes first time with from us in Tata Motors at 375 horsepower wow. okay this is an eight and a half liter engine okay so what what is unique about it this comes with an you know, uh, AMT mm -hmm. and what we call as a 35 ton auto shift. Yeah. Now, you see in mining space, yeah. uh, we have seen only the high end tippers beyond 400 horsepower. Yes. In this sub 400 horsepower category, up till now, we had a 6.7 liter, 300 horsepower. Yeah. This is the introduction of a category between 300 horsepower and those 450, 500 horsepower. We believe there is a significant market and therefore upside available for such. Yeah. Now, now this auto manual transmission, auto transmission, it's extremely critical yeah. because, you know, putting every time foot on the clutch, changing yeah. gears, it, yes. it brings in fatigue in the system. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and mind you my words, yeah. you know, you'll see a very, very swift shift happening towards AMT soon. Yeah. Because like in cars, remember, what were we about 12, 13, 14 years back? Yeah, all manual. Very less. Very less. I won't say all. Yeah. Very less. Limited. Yeah. High end segment. Yeah. But now it's, I don't know the number, but it's huge. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge sure. because it gives comfort. So that is what Tata Motors want to do here, yeah. first of all. Now, I want to talk about this specific. Yeah. This product comes with 1800 Newton meter torque. Oh. Okay. Mm. So if we see a high end roughly 22, 23 and so far rest of it 1200. We believe even the high end segment where there is a compelling reason for somebody who wants something in between also go for uh, high, very high, high end sure. and therefore compromise. We believe that there would be an entire shift yeah. from 6.7 or equivalent, you know, yeah. to this kind of a market yeah. because 
customers have been looking, yeah. minds are getting deeper, yeah. and we believe there's going to be a big space for, true, true. for this kind of an, uh, you know, vehicle. And in sub uh, 400 horsepower category, you see the bucket size we provide. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this comes with a you know rock body, yeah. highest capa yeah. capacity of about 20.5 cubic meter. It gives you far better operating economics. It makes much more sense. And yeah. my request is just go inside the cabin once, okay? Yeah. And I would like to personally take you through the details of this cabin oh. <laughs> and the kind of comfort it gives. Because see, yeah. uh, tippers. Is a is a revenue model. Yeah, true. It it's like you know, if I if I have to do a comparison, may not be right, but still I want to give airlines concept. Mm. They take very little time to get ready for again take off. Yes. On the ground, they, yeah. because the objective is to fly the plane, yes. and in this case, the operations should be uninterrupted, 24 hours, because the job of tipper is to move the whether it's boulders, yeah. overburden, mm. you know, mine stuff, yeah. or, you know, or even the construction aggregates, yeah. because it should continuously more trips, more productivity, more money, and more ability to put more vehicles, and therefore more money in the customer's pocket. That is the objective of this machine, and we believe this is the beginning of AMT in this country. Yep. We believe this is the beginning of change in, you know, power node, from 250, 300 horsepower, what we have seen largely dominating this space, to 375 horsepower, from 1,200 Newton meter torque to 1,800, and ability to pull much more with a large bucket size, yep. and far higher safety features, meeting DGMS, you know, Director General yep. Yep. Mine and Safety Mine Norms, safety. meeting those kind of norms, and therefore, you know, be the first one to be in the marketplace to drive this change. Great. That's so, what I wanted to talk yes. about. <laughs> in fact, after talking to you, I feel that we should go in a mine with this truck and an interaction there. That we would love to. to we would love to. The, that is the proof <laughs> yeah. of pudding. Yeah, exactly. When we go there, yeah. we see how this exactly. workhorse performs. Yeah. And that, by the way, because any, any product launch and before that huge validation happens, yeah. and this has been going on for last Two years oh, great. in specific, but that all is done in a very controlled environment. Yes. So, you know guys, uh, Tata democratized a lot of technology, especially when it comes to commercial vehicle. And I'm sure AMT can be democratized with this truck. And talking about this, just want to uh, have a light on the future truck from you. I would like to take, can we go yeah, there quickly? Yep. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's walk around. So here we go, we are in front of our gas vehicle. Mm. Okay, we have typically two kinds of gases, naturally yeah. compressed gas, yep. and this is liquefied na natural, natural gas, gas okay? Yeah. Yeah. LNG. So, so LNG, we did launch about a year back. Mm. Now, what is different with mm. this LNG 55 ton? And we have, by the way, in 55 ton, a huge order book. Yeah. We, have, we have sold about 50 plus vehicles, mm -hmm. okay, mm. and there's a far better acceptability among customers okay okay and they also travel long lead yeah so far what we had done is mm -hmm. we have we had 55 ton with 450 uh, you know uh, liter tank okay and we also again with a 6.7 liter engine yeah. we also had dual fuel tank mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. 450 plus 450 okay, okay. now what we are and this is what we have been doing so far and the product is available how is this different mm -hmm. now if you just quick, go quickly behind the cabin mm -hmm. we have built two stacks, two stacks. the yeah. feedback which was coming from the customers was yeah. that they need a far longer range okay right mm -hmm. so this is with 1000 liters multiplied by two which means the capacity is 2000 mm -hmm. liter tank so in this what we are doing, this would provide anything in the range of 22 to 2400 kilometers. Wow. That gives a huge comfort. Wow. So looking at what the aspirations or the current visibility of about 35 uh, filling stations we have, some 13 or 14 more coming up shortly. Okay. So while this uh, you know filling station expansion from Government of India or the various uh, oil and marketing companies is happening, Okay. But the pace should increase. Yes. Till this time this happens, we are ensuring for uninterrupted work a two 2,000 liter 
you know, hmm. capacity tank giving yeah, yeah. an upward of 22, 2300. Yeah. It, it well covers north south corridor, east Kalinganagar to maybe Chennai, Coimbatore. Yeah, so it actually covers the length and breadth of the company. Yeah. And this would be another revolution which will come in trucking space hmm. before it moves on log haul fully to EV okay. or when before we have the entire you know hydrogen uh, infrastructure Speaking green up. hydrogen infrastructure yeah. available in place yeah. so till then you will see this as a major alternate available in the trucking industry great so again like uh, we're talking about alternative fuel it's not just electric Tata is experimenting on various other alternatives and finally we'll go to the real future I guess the hydrogen hydrogen ice let's stay with the EV yeah. now yeah. see this is the product now finally, yep. with 100% getting rid of all the emissions. Emissions. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So you are in front of that vehicle. Yeah. By the way, I did speak to you sometime back about our EV range. Yeah. And uh, particularly this 55 ton. Yeah. We did launch this. And in fact, we spoke about it that we are going to introduce on our Founders Day, which was 3rd March 2024. Yeah. This product has been thoroughly validated. It's good to go for the launch. Yeah. Okay. I would request you to take along through, just take a tour along this this yes. side if you could come. This 55 ton, we would start seeding and rather selling in the marketplace from next month onwards. Okay. Yeah. Now, this along with this 55 ton, this is the prime mover. Mm, okay. So Four by two. Yeah. This. Along with this, we would also have tippers, which are not displayed here. You mm -hmm. know, commercial vehicles yep. occupy a lot of space. Yes. I have about six products <laughs> here. So, tippers also, yeah. we are launching, okay. you know. With multi-axle or the single axle? Multi-axle. Okay. I mean, drive. That is, that is, that is multi-axle. Great. So, you know, what we find in tippers mm -hmm. EV is, it works in a very controlled environment. Absolutely. You know, you have mines. Yep. You have known contracts. Yep. You have known customers. Yep. And you have financiers' confidence. Everyone is working towards, you know, sustainable future. Yeah. That is also the objective. Yeah. While at Tata Motors, we have an objective to be, you know, net uh, zero by 2045 against yeah. Government of India 2070. So here we are talking about, uh, you know, introducing these two products specifically. Okay. We have built a good, uh, I would say, you know, order book for this. Mm. And what is interesting in this is, even in a in a prime mover, yeah. well, you know, for long lead, yeah. you know, you would need more charging infrastructure, yeah. which has to come in place. That is more from government building an ecosystem. Mm -hmm. You know, here we are talking about a range which yeah. would go from a battery size, 220 kilowatt to something around, you know, 450 kilowatt. Oh. So, you know, therefore, the range accordingly would increase. Depending on the kind of application we are going to put the vehicle, yep. this would be used. Great. So, good to go yep. right away from next month onwards. This is the EV from Tata Motors. Yep. Okay, that is what we have. So, now we are in the real future, which you also might have known from the world of trucking that the, there is possibility of hydrogen truck, which is very promising in many sense. So, why not we ask from the expert only about that? So, great. Uh, you know, I did take you through LNG, yeah. electric, yeah. and and what we believe is the real future is hydrogen ice. Absolutely. Now, what makes me believe that mm. is the government of India's thrust on setting up this whole thing of hydrogen. Yeah. Okay. Green hydrogen. Green hydrogen. Okay. Yeah. And investments in terms of allocating resources, mm -hmm. investment in in prioritizing these resources, mm -hmm. and setting up separate capex funds etc yeah. in ensuring that companies oems like us also are provided support in validating the product Absolutely. now why we believe another thing is the infrastructure of green hydrogen has to come in place yes. before these vehicles are yeah. are set in place right yeah. now yeah. what is happening here is infrastructure takes little longer mm. okay and but there is a serious uh, thoughts given there's, there's a priority by the ministry. We have developed this mm. six by two product, as you can see. Yeah. Okay. This comes with a 5.3 liter. Now this is a 28 ton. Okay. Up to 28, 35, 40. We have a very good 5.3 liter engine mm -hmm. in house 
-hmm. from Tata Motors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and the best part in hydrogen is, you know, the calorific value of this is far higher yep. than the diesel. Yes. So I would I would not be wrong that every drop, every you know, every little bit of uh, hydrogen translates into huge, huge opportunity yes, of yeah. what it drives through. Yeah. So the mileage, the business case, the TCO is fantastic. Yeah. Yes, at this point in time, if you look at TCO or cost per ton kilometer, yeah. at the existing rate of hydrogen yeah. availability, okay, because it is set up from the global benchmarks, yep. and but government of India and various oil and marketing companies, those who are investing in this, mm -hmm. are going to bring it down and this is going to be the mainstream product yeah. for actually driving a large you know, emissions mm -hmm. which typically come from commercial vehicles down to rock bottom. Yes. And this is the future, yeah. but we can see overall infrastructure setting in place mm -hmm. and our availability of green hydrogen, all that mm -hmm. uh, would take time. It's about year and a half or two years. Yeah. But I want to ensure and assure that um, all our customers, our all stakeholders like you, the Tata Motors is seriously, you know, working on on various uh, technology fronts, including hydrogen ice, and at various power nodes, yeah. so that you know we we cater to entire application uh, segments, and but to begin with working on the niche yep. and seeding this concept of hydrogen ice in trucks. Yep. That's very unique, not heard of so far in the in the country. Yep. But we want to drive this change yep. of working for the customer towards ensuring a sustainable future ahead. Thank you. So the main point here, what Suresh has mentioned is hydrogen ice truck, which means that you are using the internal combustion engine rather than the fuel cell to run this. So it's purely just transforming the system which is already there, which is, means you are not evolving from eco, the ecosystem, which you're going to stick on to what it is and making it more greener, sustainable and futuristic.